morning all. Uh, here we are at Coedig, midsummer. Um, it's uh, warmer water, as you can see, warmer temperatures. It's been a real hot couple of weeks. Uh, that's pushed the fish lower in the water column. Um, many people sort of struggle at this time of year because they, they can't understand where the fish are, why aren't they rising, but the, the fish tend to go to where's the most, most comfortable water. Um, and that tends to be uh, a little bit lower. That tends to be anything between 10 and 20 feet down. And that's what the, the current situation is. With all the reservoirs in the UK at the minute, all the fish are sort of pushed deeper. But the thing about handling mid midsummer, a few things you've got to take into consideration. You need a hat, you need sunscreen, some glasses, and plenty of water. Apart from that, it's the fishing, okay? So when, say, when the fish have gone down, it's a little bit like uh, early season, but it's a bit better than early season because the fish are condensed. In early season, the fish can be anywhere but from the surface to sort of 15 feet down because of the, t the temperatures. But this time of year, they get out of that warmer water and they go to a, a, a layer that's more comfortable. And that can be anything from 10 to 20 feet down. To, to get down to that depth and to stay at that depth consistently, you know, there's no better line than good old booba basher. But you need a rod that'll throw it. And I've got the Loop 7X. It's a seven weight and that's, it's a terrific rod for that. It, plenty of power uh, and it'll, it'll load and chuck this thing all day long, really, really easy to cast. So when you get down there, and, and the thing is, you, it's staying down there consistently. Um, we're gonna do, I'll show you a little video after when we get out in the water uh, and how, how it actually works. But down there, you want, find the, the black, this way I've got the elevator booby. That's terrific little booby this time of year, black elevator booby on the point. Uh, I'll have a, a cormorant or some sort of a, uh, a black pattern in the middle, not a, some sort of a nymph or something like that. And I like a bit of colour on the top dropper. So we've got a, a fire prawn and, and coral booby on the top dropper. A little bit of colour, sometimes on the way up or on the way down to intercept the fish, get a bit of interest. But there you go, that's, a, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to give you a little insight into fishing midsummer and fishing booby basher. Okay, come down to Buckle Lake. We've got a few fish already. Um, we've taken the colour off because all the fish that we've had have been on black flies so far. So we've taken the colour off the top dropper that we spoke about. We've gone for black all the way through. We've got an elevator booby on top dropper, a nemesis nymph in the middle, and then another black booby on the point. So so it's important to consistently get to the right level. We think fish are about 20 feet, so we're counting down about 30 on the booby basher to get, get down to that sort of level. The good thing about the booby basher is it's on a non-stretch core, so your bite detection's first, right? Anything touches your flies, you'll feel it. So just keep in contact with the slow, very slow retrieve as you're allowing it to sink. Once we get it down to that level, just give it a couple of little draws to bring your flies down into the, onto the zone. This is where you expect the take to come once your flies are down in that level. This are in that comfort zone there, down there. This is when they should come. Yeah, here we go. Bang on cue. Where we'd hope they'd be. 